we are back for round two of Baron Von Count v. Baru. Yes. Stable edition. <laughs> so Baron had a pretty pretty good win the first one. We'll see what happens in this Floating one here. Floating out with a groundskeeper. Groundskeeper. That's it. What does groundskeeper do? Uh, super secret tech. Groundske groundkeeper pays a generic and a green to return a land from my graveyard to my hand. Oh, okay. Now, you okay. know what that works really well with? What does it work well with? Squirrel Wrangler. Oh, boy. Which is oh. tap two, sacrifice a land, and put out two one ones. Uh-huh. Yeah. What do you what are you dropping here for two? Uh I believe Oh, oh selfie, selfie preservation. preservation. Yeah. That's it. And I get a land that has a forest on it, so I get to put it onto the battlefield. Tap. That's right. Yeah. And I think you're swinging in here too to finish out your turn. I mean, how could I not deal you one damage? Right? You got a gots too right there. And uh, let's not forget that I did reveal my unglued mountain to play my foreboding ruins. You mean <laughs> Indeed. No, that was rude. No. And here I am coming out with them tap lands again, mm -hmm. so and then I play value. The Temple of the False God for nothing. <laughs> and then I'm Soul Ring. Tap that Soul Ring for a Steel Squirrel. That's it! Steel Squirrel! Oh man, what does Steel Squirrel do? Uh, steel Squirrel says whenever I roll a die, it gets plus X plus X, where X is the result of that die. Or a D6. And oh, then okay. it's uh, pay 5 and roll a D6. Now, Got it. I did do a okay. lot of research. Um, D6 is not represented in the rules as being 1 through 6 on it. The only okay. die reference in the comprehensive comp rules is the planar die. Having oh, two no. symbols on it. That's it. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm busy playing a Phyrexian Arena over here, trying to draw some extra cards at the cost of one life. But yeah, I play my land because now I have a bunch of mana, and I play a Squirrel Nest. A Squirrel Nest. Put down yep. a Squirrel Token. There you go. Now you'll probably be disappointed that the Squirrel Nest graphic that I get here is from what is it? Conspiracy. No, nah, I think. It's yep. Fine. There you go. The classic art's where it's at. As I drag it into place. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the classic art's <laughs> always where it's at. Gotta love it. Yep. Gotta love it. What was it originally printed in again? Uh, the original printing of Squirrel Nest. Oh, God. Was it Odyssey? That sounds correct. Yeah, because that nut collector, I think, was Odyssey as well. So Odyssey, Squirrels, it was do it. Thing. Yep. All right, and then here I am doing my little rampy thing. Got my dark steel ingot out. I I was debating. I I I didn't want to play the Baron just yet because a he's susceptible to getting killed, and b uh, I wasn't sure if I had the mana to really blow up the next turn. So we're gonna drop a swift foot boots here and see what we can do. Uh, you're correct. It is Odyssey. Where oh, Squirrel nice. Was originally printed. And you're dropping Baru. Yeah, yeah, I drop Baru because that card's pretty good. And then I put and, another scroll. As I get and I have no, for more damage. I have no creatures, so you just smash my face. <laughs> yep, yep. I I think I'm about to blow out the game next turn too. I think you are. You are very <laughs> aggressive this game, if I do remember. And I'm pulling my two cards, but but the other thing is, is you got to remember, Baru's a real, real intimidating like legendary creature i mean sure he's not as good as his big brother kamal but the landfall trigger on dropping forest to plus one plus one your team is really good especially with things like boundless realms that's true and if you are putting multiple forests out of turn that can get kind of dumb mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so all right so baron gets down put the boots on him but that's a pretty uneventful turn yeah, but. you didn't drop out anything, and I'm going Nissa's Renewal. Ooh, Searching that is... three basics and gaining seven life. That is pretty brutal. And I mean, we were just talking about yeah. multiple forests. Mm-hmm. That brings me to my team getting plus three, plus three, and trample. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my. Forget the grandeur. Baru is is pretty beastly right about now. Yeah, except grandeur does nothing in EDH. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Not a thing. If only. So. And I'm like, you uh, let me swing in. So that was uh, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Um, I think yeah, you bring me down to single digits this game or this this turn, I should say. Um, obviously not trying to block with my Baron because that's kind of my win condition. Yep, yep. I'm down to eight. Yeah. There you go. So, like hail Mary. Here we go. My Phyrexian Arena brings me down to seven. Mm -hmm. Drawing those cards, seeing what I can do. And, I mean, I need to cast, what, five spells? Yeah. With a five, four, three, two, one in them? I mean, unless they're all one drops? <laughs> I'm kind of kind of out of luck here. Yeah. But, um, I don't know. I think I'm sitting here pondering, contemplating my demise the inevitable and I know that next turn if I do live I will take that one extra damage from my Phyrexian arena yep so all right we drop a swamp in my pitiful effort to survive <laughs> we're gonna tap four it's not pitiful oh we're gonna play Erebos's Titan a card nobody knows about <laughs> because yeah it's a uh it either gets the job going or gets the job done because it has a one and it has a five on it. Yes. Um, and you have plenty of creatures, so it's not going to be indestructible. No. Uh, but whenever a creature card leaves an opponent's graveyard, you may discard a card. If you do, return Erebos's Titan from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, so, he's pretty cool. Somewhat recurrable. Definitely great if you're looking to Black Devotion uh, with those three black pips. Ruinous uh, Path, my that's right. Ruinous yeah. Path with a 1, a 4, and a 5 on it. And I'm like, I'll put out a squirrel. <laughs> yep. I have three of them now. Moves the counter, but I'm still at 7. So I'm staring down. I'm pretty much staring down. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I know it yet, but I think I'm staring down lethal right now. Uh, what did I play there? For 3. Aid from the Cowl. Five. Oh, yeah. I was expecting yep. things to die, so I'm like, oh, why, why, why not? I, I'll play this. It seems cute. Yep. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm just going to swing in for the five right now. Now, wait, wait. Look walk. at you. Look at you hiding your extra squirrel token. Because you have two squirrel three. tokens right now. There's three there. I have a die to represent them. W w w I, I'm looking at your board, and I'm going, okay, I might be able to block this and survive. Are you thinking the groundskeeper's hidden? Uh, something. Under that shiny squirrel token. No, I don't have anything hidden there. But I'm like, uh, let me let me roll for this steel squirrel, and I get a four. Yep. Now that's swinging for five. Yep. You kill one, and I'm going to revolt trigger... No, I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't think I live past this turn. I think I take the full seven. Yeah, I think you die right now. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Because aggressiveness is so strong. Because aggressive squirrels <laughs> will always kill Emrakul. <laughs> hey, thir fifteen one one squirrels will kill Emrakul. There you go. She does yep. not have protection from a color. Look at that squirrel token. <laughs> Look at that unglued you squirrel token. All right. Good job. Now. Good games. Those cards are expensive. True. And All right. Stop. And stop.